All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, please, and don't forget to thumb the video up. So, as you can see, I built a greenhouse, or I guess you might call it a high tunnel. Uh, I just wanted to start growing my own food. I used to have a, a huge garden, and uh, I just missed it. It's a lot of work, but I missed it. So, I'm doing it again. Um, I'm really pleased with this kit. Uh, other than I shipped it to the, to the wrong address, I... <laughs> I moved and forgot to update my default shipping info on Amazon and I didn't realize it until the day it was shipped um, anyways got it it was a pain but I got it so I built the first two segments right there you see those four poles I built them on the ground and I stood the poles in and then I after those were up I stood it or after those were assembled I stood it up on all four legs and now I'm just assembling it segment by segment all the way until the end it's very easy this this part I, I think I had maybe 45 minutes in the house reading the instructions and putting all these pieces together because these all come individual um, all the the connectors and, and couplers and all that the T's and elbows they all come in bags and you got to assemble all the the quarter round pieces and the straight pieces and put the feet on <clears throat> excuse me but it was very easy and all the pieces were clearly labeled uh, it was really easy and uh, as you can see I just kind of fast forwarded to the end but it didn't take long I mean with sorting through all the parts and reading the instructions I might have had an hour and a half into all this um, putting the tarp on as you're gonna say the tarp the the canopy the the cover whatever you want to call it putting that on is pretty much a two-person job I mean, you can do it by yourself but if you can get help for five minutes make sure you get help but you'll see in just a minute here when you open it up lay it out flat because the way it's folded if you order this particular brand um, I think it was called quick tent off of Amazon it's the 20 by 20 feet long by 10 feet wide by six and a half feet tall um, as you can see you can't tell here but what you want to look for is you want to make sure all the velcro pieces the straps that hold the poles are on the inside as you can see right here those are on the outside and I didn't figure it out until I went to go on the inside and button it up and I, <laughs> I <laughs> was like dang it we put this thing on backwards or inside out so that's why now we're gonna pull it off whoops then I just laid it out, and now we pulled it over the right way. Piece of cake. Problem solved. No big deal. Um, so it was a lot of work. I, I tilled all that up by hand. I didn't want to do YouTube videos of me. I was too cheap to rent a tiller. I didn't want to rent a tiller for 200 square feet or less, so I just did it with a shovel. And I separated out all the weeds and grass. And It took 10 or 12 hours probably of shoveling and getting dirty but it's all right nothing better to do i guess and uh now i got a greenhouse um i'm still got the last two lines of drip irrigation to do but for the most part i'm done just work's been so busy i haven't had a chance to finish it um it's two days after you're seeing in this video here so it was easy piece of cake i, I recommend this thing it was oh you see what i'm doing here you want to make sure the seam on the corners is lined up with the the poles because if not what's going to happen is there's nothing to hold your legs at 10 feet apart so what you'll see me in just a minute here when i try to zip this it's actually you won't know but it's the western facing door um i try to zip it up and i can't because I'm too stupid. Watch me right here. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Won't zip up. What am I doing? Watch. Yeah, nope. Still not working. Ah. There we go. Just pull it. Ah. See? But what was going on is the poles, instead of being 10 feet apart, they're probably more like 10 foot 3. And it was putting too much tension on the zipper. And so what you have to do is you have to make sure that your poles are in enough. See? Because I had big dirt clods behind my from all the freshly tilled dirt behind the legs so that it wouldn't move and I couldn't, you know, without actually pulling it together. 
and it was it was uh, causing the the tent material to be too pulled too tight, and the zipper wouldn't zip. So, so you can see the seam. That's the one directly overhead that runs along the entire roof line. You want to make sure that's basically right above that, and you can see the seam runs along right behind those poles. At first, it wasn't like that. And you can see on the other side, it's actually off a little tiny bit. And I still have a little bit of a problem with the zipper. But it's my fault for the way that I have it set up. But it works fine. And plus, to be honest, I'm probably going to have it. So you can see the seams off a little bit right there. Um, but most of the time, it's going to be open anyway. I want, the, I want the pollinators to get in there. I want some of the critters to get in there. Um, and then I dug out in the middle. You see, that was a lot of shoveling work, and I just basically, because we have really good soil. This soil is really, really, really good. I mean, just full of worms, and and um, I went through and sprinkled in some, excuse me, some coffee grinds and a few other things here and there to help the soil, and uh, it's kind of muddy right now because there was a busted sprinkler, and it, I was trying to do some work and I've kind of flooded a little bit but anyways I got that all wrapped up and it dried the next day and I shoveled it out and then I'm bringing in the gravel that we had shipped and I piled that up maybe 10 inches tall somewhere around there 8 inches tall or deep I should say and uh, I was pleased with it it's you know I just didn't want to get muddy if I ever have to go in there with a hose or whatever I don't be walking around in the mud um I thought about just doing rows inside the greenhouse. I remember in my last garden I had, I think, nine raised beds, basically eight by four. And um, I did these pretty much the same way, and it worked out really good. The only issue I had was mud because I didn't do a drip line last time. And so it got really, really muddy, and I, I remember it being an issue. So I put gravel down, you know, for couple hundred bucks it was definitely worth it and it looks nice i think too you don't got to worry about you know weeds coming through i got at least eight or ten inches of gravel i mean you can see i went thick and um i'm happy with it i got raspberries those are right there on the left those are the first two i already had in there they started dying on me and i didn't want to lose basically a two twenty dollar raspberry bushes so I got those in first before I was even done, and then um, the, uh, the 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 side rails here. All that is is one by four that I bought from Lowe's, and then I stapled in that weed barrier across the back. Cause so I'm gonna have this on drip line, so it shouldn't get too wet. Um, I'm not gonna flood these things, so I think that it'll hold up fine. And if it doesn't, then so be it. I'll tear it down next year if it starts to rot out, and I'll just do rows. And it'll be a piece of cake. There's my strawberries with my raspberry plants behind it. For now, that's how it's going to be. But I'm going to build a trellis that comes up and over. And then, yep, there's some of my blueberry bush. And then I got um, some basil, which I'm going to actually sprinkle a lot more basil here and there. And there's my tomatoes. They actually wrap around the corner and basically do that whole end. And then there's my peppers, of different, different kinds of peppers. There's jalapeno. There's a YOLO. There's... Uh, bell peppers and then there's squash and then there's three cucumbers at the other end different kinds and there's two watermelon plants and then right there in front of the watermelon plants just inside that open door on the right side is where I'm going to put a whole big bed of, bed of, bed of lettuce anyways well, I hope you like it subscribe and I'm going to come back and do another video on future events for the channel